Hawks3.com postgame show. Mission Viejo over the El Toro Chargers, 24 to seven. League championship on the line tonight. And it was the Diablos winning their sixth consecutive South Coast League title. Hi again, everyone. Kevin Turner along with a coach, Bill Kennedy for our Cox3.com postgame show. You gotta tip your hat. Bob Johnson has done it again, six in a row, South Coast well, League titles. In this area, that team is a program that everybody uh, aspires to be like. They win all the time. They do it with defense, with offense, with special teams. But I tell you what, give some credit tonight to an El Toro team that fought back until the very end. Mission Viejo drove the ball down the field for a score that put them up by 14 points. And El Toro came right back with a five play drive that tied the score, then got the onside kick. So there was a lot more drama than you might think in a game like this. It is for a league championship for Mission Viejo and a very high seating in their CIF division. Yeah, you think about it, three teams in the South Coast League ranked in the top 10 in the West Valley Conference. So it's likely that El Toro, if they take care of business next week against Dana Hills, will get an at-large bid. And we talked about that division. The West Valley division has got some great Inland Empire teams, some great teams from up near Magic Mountain and Hart and Canyon and teams like that. So it's, it's gonna be exciting football. We will get to see some teams down here on our game of the week that we don't get a chance to see very often. Should be exciting. Coach, what I was impressed with tonight, everybody talks about the highlights and the acrobatics and the, and the throwing prowess of Trey Tinsley, but I think you really have to credit the defensive front tonight for El Toro. They kept him in the ball game. Well, I just talked to Jeff Bergen, who used to play for us years ago. He was a Mission Viejo nose guard, and now he coaches those same people at El Toro. I thought the interior three guys of El Toro did a magnificent job against a really good running team. And that's really what kept them in the game. Uh, Brock Johnson had a great night throwing the ball. Trey Tinsley had a great night throwing the ball. Terrific receivers on both teams. Great coverages in the secondary. We didn't have one of those 400 yard games for either quarterback. What we had was really efficient football and an exciting, exciting game. Yeah, and I like the one-two punch that Bob Johnson revealed tonight with the running backs with Senzi and Miller in the backfield. Two different backs, but they did a fantastic job. Very efficient running the football, hard runners. They are that, and I'll tell you, at the end of the game, it was that drive that Mission put together to go up by two scores that took a little of the steam out of El Toro for a while, but what it really took was time, and that was on their side, and eventually that's why they won the game. Coach, I got a kick out of the comment that Brett Johnson made after the game. We had a chance <laughs> to catch up with Brett after the game. You said, you know what? He throws just like you. He's got that three-quarter sidearm, kind of slings it, and he goes, well, he is my son. <laughs> yeah, that's the obvious answer, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's go to the highlights right now. It was Mission Viejo's first half. They scored 10 points in the first half. This got it started here. This was a field goal, 22-yard field goal, and then they answer right back. Now look at this, Coach. What do you think about this? I'm not sure he had possession, but the official back there signaled it, and uh, after that, it's moot point. So then El Toro gets on the board. That makes it 10 to three. And then DeSantis goes around the quarter, eight yard run, and that makes it 10 all as we go into the locker room at halftime. But then the Diablos come out after a 100 yard kickoff return was called back by Caleb Fossum. This young man, Booker Curran, catches the back end of the football and the Diablos go up 17 to 10. Here's the running game at the end. And uh, when you look at Innocenze and that running game, Give credit to those big guys up front. Cole Smith and all those blockers did a great job. So this is the touchdown by Caleb Fossum out of the Wildcat formation. And then it gets really exciting right here. The onside kick recovered by El Toro. Well, that was a perfect kick. It took that hop that everybody would love to see if you're the kicking team. You don't want to see it if you're the receiving team, but it worked out for El Toro at that point. And then El Toro on fourth and whatever. Unfortunately, Tinsley throws it out of bounds, incomplete, and the game is over, and the Diablos win their sixth consecutive league title. Here are the highlights, and here are some of the stats. Colin Kentros with seven receptions for 84 yards, a real go-to guy, a 12-yard average. Booker Curran, four receptions for 76 yards and two touchdowns, and Brock Johnson, 11 for 20, 161 yards and two touchdowns. And this really ended up being a great battle for a league championship. Now, what comes next? 
is every coach's dream and every player's dream, and that is to make it to the playoffs. I think you're going to see, as you mentioned, Mission Viejo, Tesoro, and El Toro in the West Valley playoffs. And I'll tell you what, anything can happen when those games start. Well, this is a Thursday night game. These guys had to get out of here earlier, but uh, Mark Heller caught up with Roman Asensi, the star running back for Mission Viejo, earlier right after the game tonight. We'll go to that right now. We're talking with the offensive player of the game, Roman Achenzi, over 100 yards rushing as the Diablos pull out a 24-17 victory and their sixth consecutive South Coast League title. First of all, congratulations on your performance. Uh, talk about the way you ran tonight and the job the offensive line did behind you. Uh, the offensive line did a great job opening up the holes. I just had to get through them and do what I do. You had one run of 49 yards. Talk about how that play developed. The line popped a hole for me. I s s squeezed through it and just got as many yards as I could. When you take on El Toro, you know a lot of these kids from growing up. So what is it like being on the field, playing against them with the South Coast League title on the line? It's a little bit weird, but I like it. I like seeing them. It's good playing against them. It's good beating them. The team got off to a slow start, losing the first couple of games of the year, but you finished the season on an eight-game winning streak. What does that do for the team's confidence entering the playoffs, where you actually have a one-week bye and two weeks to prepare for your first-round game? Well, it helps a little bit, but we always got to know that we can't take any team lightly. We just got to keep pushing and working hard. Well, we want to congratulate you on your performance and the team's victory, and we wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank you, sir. We've been talking with Roman Achenzi. He is the offensive player of the game, over 100 yards rushing as the Diablos pull out a 24-17 victory and their sixth consecutive South Coast League title. Well, another great game here on the game of the week. Mission Viejo 24-17 over the El Toro Chargers. Mission takes a bye as they go into the playoffs, get a chance to get healthy, get ready for the playoffs on the other side. El Toro, one more game. they got to take care of business against Dana Hills. Well, I want to congratulate Bob Johnson and his staff. League championships are hard to earn. Everybody talks about, well, that's six in a row. Every one of them is special, and it takes an awful lot to, to get that for your team and your fans and your school. On Robert Frith's side, congratulations on getting that program to the high level you're playing at right now, and hopefully you'll have a great run in the playoffs. Bill Coonerty, I'm Kevin Turner. That's going to do it for our Cox3.com postgame show. 24-17, Diablos over the Chargers. Good night, everyone.